Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This, this is Chelsea from Raising Little Sparrows, um, and I'm here to show you my um, will be first graders curriculum haul for next year. Um, what we will be using for the 2022 2023 curriculum uh, homeschool year. If you don't know, I'm a homeschool mom of two boys. I have one, um, my younger son, who will, I'll be showing this stuff for today, is um, six and in kindergarten. Um, and he's actually been tested. He's gifted in um, math and uh, visual spatial kind of stuff. Um, so he's, he's very advanced in his math curriculum. Um, for his age, but he will be going into first grade and he's pretty much on par or more on par for reading, I think, um, for his age. So I'll be showing you that today. I also have an 11 year old who is um, behind in a lot of academic areas. He um, has several learning disabilities, including dyslexia and ADHD and dyscalculia. Um, and I will be doing a separate video on his. So he will technically be going into sixth grade, um, but a lot of his stuff is behind that grade level. So anyway, this is about my six-year-old and um, I'm really excited about our school year. We actually will be having for the first time in a couple years, really the first time since Finn has been doing real school because this is only his kindergarten year. Um, we will be having both of our boys home full time. Right now, currently, our oldest son is in a day, like morning program, like a Waldorf based morning program at a farm uh, nearby. And he goes there from like nine to one each day. Um, and then I homeschool him in the afternoon. So that has been really good for him socially. Um, but next year, he will be home with us full time. So that'll be different because right now I'm homeschooling Finn, uh, my youngest by himself in the morning. Um, so I won't, I won't have any like separate times, um, which, which can be a little overwhelming, but I'm excited to, because we can finally combine like our science and our history curriculum, which I'm going to get to first. Um, the first thing I'm going to show is what we're going to be doing for our morning time. Um, I don't, I don't really know exactly how this is going to, our schedule is going to work. I kind of have a loose schedule like written out. But again, since this is our first year with them both home doing real school full time, um, I'm not totally sure how it's going to work. But I plan on doing this in the morning and hopefully every day. So this is my plan. Um, but I'm really excited. So we got this. This is um, the, what is it called? A year. It's like the year of tales is the company and it is a year in the hundred acre woods. So we went through her original curriculum, the year of tales when my youngest was preschool, um, the year before kindergarten and Ollie was, I think like third grade. Um, we went through it and really, really loved it. We actually didn't make it all the way through it. We made it just over halfway through it. Um, and I have finished it up with my well, I'm finishing it up with my um, kindergartner, but but Oliver, my oldest, has always loved Winnie the Pooh, so I'm really, really excited to go through this. We've gone through the Winnie the Pooh book like a million times, um, and it never gets old. He loves it. So um, it's going, basically what it is, is you go through the Winnie the Pooh stories, and um, there's several, obviously, and you uh, the curriculum is based off that. It, it's, it has character and Bible. It has um, science and nature study. Um, it's a Charlotte Mason um, inspired curriculum. It has, um, I'm trying to think, like language arts and copy work and poetry and artwork um, and all of that in it um, as you follow through the, the Winnie the Pooh stories. Um, you do have to, it's not like you have to have your own math. Um, and we, we have in our own language arts, um, but it does have some language arts built into it. So um, that's what we will be doing, hopefully, in our morning time. Um, I don't know if I'll be reading it or if we'll or if I'll have them um, listen to the audiobook. We've done the audiobook several times because if you've not done it, you got to get it. It's amazing. The, um, the actors' voices and stuff really, really bring it to life in a whole different way. It's just fantastic. Um, so we love the audiobook, so we'll probably do that, but um, I might read some of it. But we have the books for the pictures and stuff. 
So that'll be what we're doing for morning time. And um, our other language arts, which I've got to find it. Where did I put it? Oh, is um, our, our main language arts is going to be the good and the beautiful. He'll be going through level one. He's finishing level K right now. And he's doing fantastic with it. Um, and we love the good and the beautiful language arts. Well, we love a lot of their stuff. But anyway, we really, we've used their language arts now for several years. And my oldest will also be using it. Um, so that's what we're doing as our main language arts. And then he will be doing handwriting level one. Now, he's actually like a good chunk of the way through this already. He's like halfway through this, the level one, because um, he's also like really into writing. So we will probably have to start level two at early in the school year. But for now, that's what we plan on finishing up. So that'll be our language arts. We also are doing um, Bob books and Dash into Learning as our phonics and reading practice on top of this. Um, and that's going really, really well. So that's his language arts. And then for math, he just started um, the, the Good and the Beautiful Math 3. So he's actually already partway through this. Um, and he will, at some point in the next year, we school year round. So at some point, probably by Christmas-ish, he will have to move on to level four, I'm guessing. Um, we just go at his pace, but yeah, he really loves math. So, um, so we'll see. And he's doing really, really well with it. So, um, he was very excited. I kind of held him back on the moving on to level three because my oldest is also in level three because math is like his super weak subject. So I kind of didn't want him on the same curriculum, but or on the same level, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. So that'll be our plan for morning time language arts and math. And um, as far as science goes, we'll be doing it along with my, um, or science and history, I should say, go. We'll be doing it along with my older son. Um, so it's really based more for my older son, um, which I'll show in his curriculum hall. But I'll just tell you here, I don't have the book in front of me. We're doing the knot grass, which, uh, our star spangled story. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you have seen me mention this curriculum like multiple times. I started this with my oldest. Oh my gosh, year before last, I think. I can't even remember, to be honest with you. I think I started it that summer, and then he ended up going to this water program, and to be honest, it was just too much. Like, we were really trying to just get the basics down when he got home, and he was wore out. This is his first time ever being at any sort of school program, and he was wiped, um, and it was hard enough to get in, like, the language arts and math, so we dropped history partway through the fall, um, and we were only, like... I don't remember how many chapters we got into it. But anyway, we weren't, like, super far into it. So we dropped it. Um, and then I, like, said, okay, we're going to pick it back up this year. Didn't happen. So we still have not done it. Um, he does do history at his school. Not a lot, but he has been doing some. And we read lots of history books and stuff because he's obsessed. Like, he really loves history. Um, and we do lots of field trips and stuff. So, but... Anyway, for next year, since they will both be home, we are finally going to do this curriculum and get through this curriculum. Um, so we'll be doing the Star Spangled, um, our Star Spangled story from Not Grass will be our history. And we will do that as a, as a family style in the afternoon is my plan. Um, at least three days a week is also my plan. We will see how all this works out. Um, and then I have the beautiful feet, which I did with Oliver early American history. I have all like almost all the books from that. Um, so, which is what I did with him and I think first grade. So, which is what Finn will be. So I'm going to add in those as extra reading. There's a lot of picture books and it's really, really good for, um, you know, younger kids because of the, I mean, the books from Beautiful Feet. I cannot recommend Beautiful Feet enough. We are currently going through the Around the World for the second time. Um, I went through it with Ollie in second grade, and now I'm going through it with Finn, and it is absolutely fantastic. Ollie loved it, um, which is saying a lot because he's a hard time sitting still. Finn adores it, um, and I just love it. I think it's fantastic. The books are really top-notch and um, engaging, and anyway, it's, I can't I think like fourth grade and under, like you should do it. But um, so I'll be going through those with Finley, um, well, and Ollie too. He's already heard him like three or four times, but he loves history, like I said. So that's our history plan. Science, 
there's a lot of nature study in the, um, the year of tales curriculum. And I don't want to overwhelm us. My kids really love science. So my thought was I have a, um, good in the beautiful, a couple good in the beautiful science curriculums that we haven't used yet that I might add in at some point in the year. They don't take up a whole year. I can't remember. Like it's like 12 weeks or something. I don't know, like maybe half a year. So I have those on hand I might do, um, but I'm not going to pressure myself to get through them. But they're there if I feel like partway in the school year we're on a roll and things are doing going well and stuff. I might add those in. We also, I keep looking at the, uh, it's like, oh shoot, I can't remember the name of it. I'll link it below. It's like a homeschool tools or something like that. It's like science kits. Um, I always forget the name of it. Um, I bought some stuff for them for Christmas, just like fun little things, and they have loved them. But they have like actual like curriculum kits uh, for homeschoolers for science. And they've got like physics and chemistry and all kinds of, that I mean, just tons of stuff. So um, all, for all different ages. So I think I might get one of those to kind of do here and there throughout the year. Um, but my thought was to do the history three days a week and do science something science related at least once a week. Um, I'm not going to like say for sure we'll do it twice a week because we're going to be doing nature study and stuff too. But um, but yeah, I'd like to at least get to something science, even if it's just a fun science kit at least once a week. And we also have an experiment book we go through all the time. I mean, just throughout the year for fun. But um, and we read plenty of, you know, science related books and encyclopedias. Oliver in particular is obsessed with encyclopedias. Um, and Finley is obsessed with animals. And so we have like all the animal encyclopedias and all the animal Esmer books. And that's what he likes to do at bedtime. So they get a decent amount of science um, just like in life. But that's my plan. So we're going to be doing um, that for my um, for our, like family style. So that's my kindergartner rising first graders curriculum. And um, I'll do like I said, I'll do a separate video for Oliver's stuff. But my plan. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, we originally thought we would have Finley maybe in a little program. He also, as a supplement, will be going to uh, the, mu we have a local museum that does um, homeschool enrichment classes once a week. And it's science-based because it's a science museum. So he'll be doing that. Um, he, di he did it this past year too. And it what he did the Lego Robotics Space Explorers class. And he'll be doing um, something throughout the entire year as well. My oldest, he's always done, um, their nature class. They have like a nature explorers class there, but, um, now that he's older, I'm not sure. Anyway, that'll be science-based as well. So, so they'll be getting other stuff, but, but that's my plan for next year. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything specific or if I missed something, which I probably did, um, just shoot me a message. Um, but yeah, I hope everything's going good with you guys, uh, planning the new year. It's a crazy time. So we'll, uh, talk to you later.